everybody you all seem to loved my last tag video so much so i thought i'll sit and do another tag video this is called cross my heart tag and i have never heard this tag done by anybody before but i'm so glad beauty chem sam beauty chem chem sam sam i'm sorry i'm ruining your name <laughs> Oh my god, I'll just leave the link to her channel below. I want you guys to go check her channel out, okay? I'm Indian, please forgive me. All Indians definitely pronounce something or the other wrong and I am pronouncing your name wrong. But I'm so glad you tagged me. So here are a bunch of questions I'm going to answer. I think this, this tag is super fun. So the first question is how often do you poke yourself in the eye with your mascara? Okay, if I have to be really honest with you guys, the answer is never. Not because I'm like a very good beauty artist or that I'm a very very good at mascara. Whoa, the light went very weird. Enough about that. It's not because I'm very good at makeup. It's just because I once poked Nikki with a mascara wand in her eye. Nikki is my best friend. She's the one who helps me with a lot of my videos you know a couple of years back she actually got a blue mascara so she was just showing it to me she asked me to put it on her eyelashes i was just putting it on her eyelashes and poked her in the eye oh my god the experience was so freaky so i never really take my own mascara one that close to my eyes Never. I mean, Nikki can lose her eyes, right? Her livelihood only de depends on her ability to see. But me, you know, I can't lose my sight. I need to, if I lose my eyesight, who is going to watch all of the YouTube videos, right? So, <laughs> I never have poked myself in my eyes. I've been super careful. Okay. The second question, how often do you put your hair in a bun? when you don't feel like washing it okay the genuine real answer is every single day whether i washed my hair or i have not i always 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 wear my hair in a bun it's my favorite thing to do i find that it gets all of my hair out of my sight whether i'm doing something or lazing around simply watching tv i just cannot have a lot of hair you know falling into my eyes no Messy bun is my ultimate go-to hairstyle. I always do my hair in messy buns. Not even ashamed of it, you guys. I think I used to do it way back when I was much younger. But I think since the past 4-5 years, I have never done it. Thanks to Nisha, Nikki's sister, she just once told me that your pores absorbs all of the makeup that you've slept in and it leads to acne so i've never done that i've been super 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 cautious even if i feel like a zombie in the night i just make sure i take my makeup off wash my face and then hit the bed that's just one thing i cannot cannot do next question how often do you wash your makeup brushes okay there is no real straight answer to this Simply because I'm a very moody person, there are some times when I feel really OCD and on those days, I literally wash my brush the moment I've applied makeup, okay? As soon as I'm done with the makeup, I literally go wash it straight away. And then there are days I don't wash them up to a week or 15 days. I know it's really bad, but I feel lazy, I don't do it. And then I wait for my OCD days and I, I get seriously horrified at my own laziness go and wash my brushes. <laughs> That's how I roll here, you know. How often do you put antibacterial hand gel on your hands before you put, on, put your makeup on? Okay, I didn't know you were supposed to do that. I've never done that. What I do before makeup is go wash my face and I definitely use my hands to wash my face. So I kind of assumed that any face wash that I've used not only cleans my face but also my hands. So yes, I never have used any kind of antibacterial on my hands but I think I will start now that this question has made me realize that I should probably be doing it. Next question, do you trust your makeup products that has a expiration date has passed? What? 
Do you trust your makeup products that has an expiration date that has passed? Yes, I do that very often. I do go through my entire makeup collection which is not so big but nonetheless I do it. Anything that is old I toss it out. I recently gave away a whole bunch of things that I had not used in 3 months and also I threw away a bunch of uh, kajal eyeliners. I know I'm an Indian. Here in India whether we put on an entire face of makeup or not we all like to put a bit of kajal and I don't know how I didn't run out of that pencil considering I was using it pretty much every day anyway I had to throw it away no regrets throw it away I'm very good like that <laughs> so the next question do you wash your face in the morning and at night yes definitely this is not something that I have cultivated for myself, this is something my mom has instilled in me and my sister since the time we were very young. She's always made sure that we wash our face at least twice a day. So yes, since the time I was younger, I've been doing it. There's no way I'm going to change it now. So yes, I do wash my face at least twice, sometimes thrice. On days when I'm worn a lot of makeup or on days when it's very hot like today and if it feels muggy, if my face feels oily then definitely I do wash my hair at least thrice on very hot summery kind of days. So no problem there. Hmm. Next question, do you use heat protection? protection <laughs> okay do you use heat protection on your hair when you use blow dryers hair straightener curling iron and so on okay let me first of all say i don't use a lot of uh, any of these blow dryers hair straighteners or curling iron i don't have a curling wand i don't curl my hair using a curling wand so no and I don't use any kind of heat protection spray simply because I don't blow dry my hair with heat and very 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 rarely I straighten my hair very rarely okay once in a while or something like that so I have never really invested on a heat protecting spray. I don't know is it really necessary to use a heat protecting spray even though you're probably straightening your hair maybe once a month or once in two months i don't know guys please let me know in the comments if it is a hundred percent must that i should do it every single time i mean since i straighten my hair so very rarely i've never bothered uh, you know investing on a good hair spray that way the next question do you brush your hair when it is wet yes i am one of those people i know there are two kinds of people the ones who brush their hair when it's wet and the ones who wait for it to be completely dry and then comb through i am the person who belongs to the first kind as you can see my hair is curly it does get to get to <laughs> it does get tangled a lot in the shower when i'm washing my hair and when i try to comb through the detang the detangles <laughs> okay when i try to comb through the tangles when my hair is dry i do tend to pull out a lot of hair a lot of hair loss happens which is not good at all so what i do instead is comb my hair through when it is wet i find it easier to detangle also i feel like i get less hair fall that way so that's definitely what i do let me know if it's a bad thing. I don't know. My mom actually never uh, brushes her hair when her hair is wet. But I'm the kind who brushes my hair when it is soaking wet. So I don't know which is the right thing to do here. Never bother to research. Okay, finally. The last question. Anything else that you want to confess to? Yes, I do have a major confession. You guys it was totally my fault i skipped the traffic light last night <laughs> okay that's not the kind of confusion you guys are looking for here but anyway on a more serious note i am this kind of person who is lazy about putting on makeup i put on makeup especially if i'm going only to a mall or if i'm meeting more than two friends if not, I never put on makeup. I am that lazy. So that is my confession. I am a lazy person. I simply put on a BB cream lip gloss and head out. Not even concealer, no eyeliner, no mascara. I am that 
girl. No makeup girl. <laughs> okay. Finally, confessed. I feel lighter in my heart now. So, yay. That's it for this video, you guys. I'm going to tag a whole bunch of people to do this video. Please do it. I'm going to leave whomever I want to tag. The links below in the description box. Please do it. I'm so curious to know what your answers are going to be. And yes, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed today's video. Subscribe for more from me. And I will see you next Thursday with a new video. Until then, please take care. I love you a lot. You guys are extremely awesome. Bye. And also, if a little bit of it goes into your power, don't regret this stuff is really yummy. <laughs> I know it's disgusting, but it's what's been on my face. I'm eating what's on my face. Well, okay. I'll stop doing that, I promise. <laughs>